we should meet this, that and that judge. But uh, they have to have, um, uh, uh, apparently, from what we were told, they have to have the okay from the, we were shocked. I must say, uh, I've seen all kinds of things in my career, 30 years on the bench, but beating of lawyers, beating of people who are peacefully, and particularly the police not obeying the order, court orders, I had never seen that to that extent. It really was shocking. And we talked to these lawyers, we interviewed them at, at length. We have, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, the fact that they were held in communicando, their, their wives would bring food and they were threatened. Uh, and apparently there is a campaign of intimidation and, uh, and fear. People who have declared opposition to government, their harassment has concentrated. To prove what we've always said as Zimbabweans were concerned that the situation back home is actually uh, deteriorating and getting to an extent whereby we really need a quick and fast intervention, uh, particularly through the, the initiatives that are taking place. When uh, President Awombek is going to negotiate, uh, we believe that the issues of uh, lawyers being beaten will be also considered seriously, because it hammers on all the efforts that might be put across in trying to resolve the crisis in Zimbabwe. Right. <laughs> I'm clear of her debate. Nice to meet you. I remember when the sun <coughs> so. In conclusion, the mission considers that the present level of tension between the government and the legal profession, if not resolved soon, will only deepen the damage to the rule of law in Zimbabwe and the rights of all people in the country to seek legal representation. The mission urges the government to end the harassment of lawyers, to control the police, and to hold them accountable, and to resolve a fundamental democratic principle that is pivotal to the rule of law in Zimbabwe, the independence of the legal profession. In the media house, then you can ask the question. Could you answer that? Because I didn't hear. Mm.